for Employment and Labour Relations. Ignatius Bafewa has revealed that the government will this year increase the 4% salary increment for public sector workers to 7%. He was speaking at NAT conference in Kumasi. We had to also negotiate with the, with the leadership of organized labor. And in the process, we had to agree that we also had to be modest in our request on the national kitty. That is how we ended at the 4%. Mr. President, the beautiful thing is that we are moving on. And we had agreed that coming into this current year, the 4% will no longer exist. And that we are going to give workers a 7%, which is an equivalent of 4%. Now, the Tripartite Committee compromising government, employers and organized labor announced a 4% increment in the salaries of public sector workers in 2021. The announcement of the salary increment was met with agitations by some workers who said it was paltry and would not meet their current living conditions. Some of the public sector workers embarked on demonstrations in some parts of the country to press them. Uh, their demands to improve the salary. Let's have a conversation on the back of this and speak with uh, Adukwe Ayikwe Awuli, he is the communication director of the Coalition of uh, Concerned Teachers of Ghana. So we're grateful uh, for your time with us on Midday Live. Uh, last year, labor unions were not happy with the 4% public pay increase, but you renegotiated that. you happy this time, are you not? Thank you very much. Greetings to all your viewers and Happy New Year to all teachers mm -hmm. and unionists in this country. I think um, I would have wished the minister wouldn't have uh, mentioned that 7% and call it something beautiful. <laughs> I think uh, this is the first time we are receiving such salary increment for a particular year, aside okay. the 4%. Uh, it has never been so in the history of Ghana where workers receive 7% and the minister says it is beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful thing. I think we have the Public Joint Standing Negotiation Committee. And as a matter of fact, last year, July, we negotiated for 2021 and 2022 okay. um, increment. Yeah. And that is uh, for the, for the um, BSP increment. The, um, the minimum wage is done by the tripartite committee. That's right, yeah. And after that one had been done, then the Public Joint Standing Negotiation Committee would then meet, which comprises TUC leading the public sector workers, and then all public sector unions, okay. and then with government. Mm -hmm. So we agreed on the 4% to take effect from January 2021, although we were in July. And then we also agreed on 7% for this year, 2022. So it's something that we've already negotiated for, and we, you, we all saw the backlash. Our members were not happy at the end of the day. So we thought tempers have gone down, but mm. the minister coming out to say that it's so beautiful but that uh, we are uh, going to receive 7%. Is it, is it not beautiful? That's what you wanted, no, that's what you're getting. No, that is not what we wanted. And that is why the negotiation kept going on until July 2021, when we were even negotiating for 2021 base pay increment, July. And even as we speak, the back pay, we've not received all. The two back pays for uh, May and June mm. ought to have been paid in December 2020. It is not, it's not been paid. That one has not even been paid. And we are waiting. Now, let me tell you, we have public sector workers who take below 1,000 Ghana city servants. So if you tell that person 2021, you've increased the salary by 4%, which is 40 Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. And then in 2022... You add 7%, you also increase it by 7%, which is, I think, 73. It's not even up to 73 cities. So from 2021 up to the end of 2022, mm. somebody receiving 1,000 Ghana is getting less than 80 Ghana cities as salary increment, and we call it beautiful. I think we all agree because of the economic but, situation. Uh, right. Uh -huh. the, the base because, uh, situation you're talking about, that should fall under your tripartite committee, should it not? Mm, yes, led by... Um, the trade union on the um, yeah exactly yeah. and we went into negotiation mm -hmm. all public sector workers um, leadership were there that is their union leaders were there okay and we have to go back and forth back and forth and we were promised that the economic the economic situation will, will, will be will be eased right the economy will, will be buoyant in no time but 
it was very surprising that even the president, His Excellency himself, came out just last month in December to say that things are not going well. Right. So <laughs> I think if they themselves know things are not going well, the last time we held a press conference, we made some proposals to government that they can even give public sector work to what we call cooler. They can give us cooler. That is cost of living allowance to, to cushion us a little bit. It's been done before. So you can give us a cost of living allowance of about 20%. Because things, you imagine... You, you'd that, rather choose those interventions against... Yes, their, it's a very good intervention at the their, end of the day. The, because the increment, the 7% increment we're seeing. The 7% should take effect which we have already negotiated okay. for. Plus the but looking at the economic for. condition, looking at even look at fuel okay. prices and the way things are going up, look at cement prices and all mm. these things. We, we have asked government and we have made a proposal to government to at least look at uh, cost of living. Right. Uh, let, let's talk about some, some other issues. So uh, a new academic year, yeah. uh, we're looking at that. Uh, let's now talk about textbooks. Do you, do you now have a full complement of the textbooks you need for the academic year? I think it is exactly a year ago I sat at the same place after we've gone through the COVID-19 pandemic and then we've had a break and then we were resuming for the 2020, 2021 academic year. We right, started yeah. in January. Mm -hmm. The same question or the same thing came on and we deliberated about it because we realized that since the time that the new standard-based curriculum was introduced at the preschool and primary level, we've never had textbooks. It came with only the, a handbook for the teachers and then the curriculum. And I, I hope you've been hearing it. People are complaining. Teacher unions have complained. Even we heard the so press conference. So you still do not have it? We don't have okay. it. Okay. As we speak now, last year, we all had our stakeholders, our senior men saying that it will be ready soon, one year gone. And we very you, soon... You're just keeping your fingers crossed. Hey, we, we, we will get into the new academic okay. year soon. And we are it still it brings me to my next and final question. So President uh, Kufad is speaking at the uh, NAT conference in Kumasi said, teaching should not be seen as a stopgap measure or a job uh, of last resort. But do, do you think government is doing enough to make the profession attractive? It is very, very unfortunate that government is not doing much. I think you can go and look at the statistics and look at the attrition rates. I don't think if a teacher should have an opportunity to get into another job, that will put food on his or her table. That will secure his future. He will not leave and go there. So there is the need for government to do more for the Ghanaian teacher. We don't have textbooks, but we are teaching. What are you teaching the kids? So we are go, teaching go, them what going, is in the curriculum. Going into 2022, going into uh, the new academic year, you still do not have textbooks a year after. Yes, but we will prepare our scheme of work. Mm -hmm. We will go to the classrooms. We will come to, to the internet. We will improvise teaching and learning materials. So all, you've, all, all you've been doing is and to then improvise. Teachers have been, yes, teachers have been... Teachers are very, very hard working. You go to a typical teacher's classroom and go and look at all that he has done. Most of the things that he pissed in the classroom are done by, the, by, by that teacher, him or herself. And so we are working very hard and we'll call on government to look at the Ghanaian teacher and do what they are supposed to do. At the end of the day, we are not even asking much. If the environment is conducive, textbooks are available, and then you give us the allowances that we sought for. That is all. We are, we are already dedicated to our work and we'll continue working. You, you think that should not be hard for government to do? It shouldn't be hard for government right. to do because education is the backbone of every country. Adukwe, thank you. We're grateful for thank your time. You We've been speaking with Adukwe Ayikwe Awule. He is the